Those defective General Motors ignition switches did more harm than we knew. Today, the death toll was raised from 13 to 19. The new number came from Ken Feinberg, who's in charge of GM's Victims Compensation Fund. He has received a total of 125 death claims. Some are still being evaluated, so the death toll is expected to grow. Here's Jeff Glore. In 2006, 18-year-old Natasha Weigel was killed inside a Chevy Cobalt in rural Wisconsin. GM had not linked her death to a defective ignition switch until today, when Ken Feinberg released his first report. Yeah, that was her brother's wedding, I believe. Ken Reimer is Natasha's stepfather. It's not closure for us, but it's a, at least it's a step in the right direction. GM's faulty switch, which we first reported on in February, can cause engines to suddenly shut off, disabling the airbags and other safety features. GM first detected a problem with the switches during testing in 1999. They were still put in cars starting in 2002. Despite complaints, accidents, and deaths, the recalls didn't begin until 2014, 12 years later. Until just a few months ago, GM insisted the number of deaths linked to the defect was only 13. Bob Hilliard represents many of the victims. I think GM's intent on framing the conversation by mentioning 13 was disingenuous uh, because there's just so many uh, folks we may never even discover. Ken Feinberg has received 445 total claims so far. That includes 125 for deaths, 58 for life-altering injuries, including paralysis or amputation, and 262 for less serious injuries. The challenge here is many of these accidents occurred a decade ago trying to reconstruct a link between the ignition switch and the accident is a challenge. Feinberg is accepting claims until the end of this year. He will also now begin assigning dollar values, some we expect will exceed $10 million. Victims or their families can accept and then the case is closed, or Scott, they can say no and sue GM in court. Jeff, thanks very much.